every workplace will have different dress code procedures when it comes to spring and summer. But generally, you should always follow this one rule. One should always dress professionally, appropriately, and of course, stylish. What's going on guys? This is Richard from A Man About Style and today we are going to be talking spring and summer suits. So let's get into it. First of all, what should you look for? In order to get the best suit, one should pay attention to the construction of a suit. The construction of a suit will determine the weight, the texture, and the breathability. Opt for a suit that's unlined or half-lined for the best ventilation during spring and summer. Speaking of ventilation, let's talk warm weather fabrics. Linen is one of the most classic warm weather fabrics due to the fact that it's lightweight and has a very breathable weave. Linen is made from the fibers of the flax plant, which makes it great for natural texture. Unfortunately, that natural texture comes with some wrinkles. So if wrinkles aren't a part of your aesthetic, aim for a linen suit that is a blend of linen wool or linen cotton. Speaking of cotton, let's talk about cotton suiting. Cotton suiting is the people's jam to warm weather suiting. It is not only versatile, it is spring and summer friendly. Cotton fabric is stiffer than wool, but more breathable. Now, many opt for a cotton suit in khaki, but if you're feeling adventurous, try a cotton suit in olive instead. Let's talk about one of my favorite warm weather fabrics, Seersucker. Seersucker is a fabric made with a unique cotton weave that causes the thread to bunch together in places, giving the fabric its trademark bumpy appearance, called puckering. The puckering causes more of the fabric to be held away from the body, allowing for greater air circulation between you and your clothes. Now, Seersucker is great for derbies, parties, happy hours, but be forewarned that Seersucker is not a viable option for those who work in formal business settings. Lastly, we have chambray or cambric. Chambray is a lightweight cotton fabric that is lightly glossy. It is akin to denim, so it is sturdy and durable, yet soft to the touch. Now that you know what fabric to choose, what color should you get? Consider a khaki or light gray as these two colors will help reflect heat instead of absorb it. Now, summer and spring are great opportunities to inject some color and vibrancy into your wardrobe. So if you have a good arsenal of basic color suits in your closet, opt for a color on the red scale. If you're more conservative, Aim for light blues instead of navy. Khaki is gonna be most people's go-to, but remember that depending on the dress code, it is not acceptable for evening wear. Lastly, for those of you who are fashion forward, you can try these two looks, shorts and a suit. If you wanna try this look, just make sure that both fabrics are signal appropriate and that your shorts hit above the knee, or for the bold, try a full-on floral suit. This is a great suit to wear individually as separates, but if you want to wear it as one full ensemble, just make sure that everything else is rooted in neutral. With that, we'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, or support the work by hitting us up on Venmo, until then, we'll catch you in the next video.